Let us now have a look at a problem involving quadratic equations. So it is said that one root of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 is the nth power of the other root. Then there is an expression which is involving exponents n, 1 by n plus 1 and so on. We are asked to evaluate this expression. Any such problem which puts a constraint on the roots of a quadratic equation and then ask you to evaluate an expression which involves the coefficients, the first thing which you try to do is to actually write down the equations involving the sum of the roots and the product of the roots. That will actually give you an idea about how to go about. So in this case, let us, if you take one root as alpha, definitely I can take the other root as alpha power n. So that is the first thing. So alpha and alpha power n are the two roots of the equation. Now let me write down the product equation. So the product of the roots of the equation is equal to c by a, which translates to alpha power n plus 1 is equal to c by a. Okay. So I can actually write alpha is equal to c by a times 1 by n plus 1. Now here itself we have got an idea that we are on the right track because the expression to be evaluated again contains the exponent 1 by n plus 1. So it things look good. Now let us try to get the other equation that involving the sum of the roots. So we have alpha plus alpha power n is equal to minus b by a. All right. Now this is again a good equation. We can try to get some information from it. But more importantly, if you look at the expression to be evaluated, it has got a plus b. And therefore, let us again try to convert this expression into an expression which involves plus b. So this implies, I can very well write this as a times alpha plus alpha power n plus b is equal to 0. Now it is already tempting to write the answer directly to be equal to 0, but let us again try to verify it. So we have a times alpha, alpha we have already got. So it is c by a times 1 by n plus 1 plus alpha power n which becomes c by a times n by n plus 1 plus b equals 0. Okay. Now if you expand this out, you will get a times n by n plus 1 times c 1 by n plus 1 plus, so here we have n by n plus 1, therefore it is a times 1 by n plus 1 times c by n plus 1 plus b equal to 0. Now is this the same expression that we were asked to find out? Yes, definitely it is, and therefore the answer is equal to 0. So this was a good problem because it was slightly, it looked as if it is a complicated thing. But the thing is, if you just write down the sum of the roots and the product of the roots equation, then the answer follows immediately. Hey guys, hope this video was helpful. Like it, then give it a big thumbs up. Share and subscribe to our channel and don't wait to comment below. We love to hear from you. Do download Topper app and visit our website, topper.com.